Okay guys, Marion Blair here. I got two batteries in front of me here. The one on the right, the original Mopar that came in this 2014 Ram 2500 with the Cummins engine, dual battery system. That battery only has a 24 month replacement warranty. Now, if it came in the new truck, then the truck has a 36 month warranty. So they do warranty it for 36 months. How I know, both of mine failed right at the limit. One of them went two years and something. They replaced it, and the other one went just a hair over three years. The one on the left is a Duracell run-of-the-mill, run kind of middle-of-the-road battery, I would say. It's a Duracell Platinum AGM, available Battery Plus, Sam's, various places. Sam's has the best price, and they'll install them free if you like. But nonetheless, there's two things I know about batteries. One is the heavier it is, the more lead it contains, which is a good thing. And also, the less internal resistance there is in the battery, the better the battery. So in other words, the purer the lead, the better the battery. Because there's less internal resistance, therefore less wasted energy. That's that E equals IR thing that all of those engineers know about. Now, let's go ahead and weigh these batteries. I can't really easily test the internal resistance. You can get an idea of it if you watch them discharge with the voltmeter and stuff, or maybe even on a load test. But nonetheless, we're not gonna fool with that. Let's just do some routine weighing of these two batteries. Now, a lot of people think that the Mopar is an AGM. They're not. They're just a standard flooded lead acid battery, but you can't check the fluid level. And that's the big problem with these maintenance free batteries. So once the water level drops below the plates, that battery goes to hell in a hurry. Now on the other hand, the AGM over here is also a maintenance free, but it actually operates under a little bit of pressure called valve regulated. And as long as the charging system and everything is adhered to for an AGM battery, it will hold that fluid in there. There's actually no fluid level. It's just glass mat that is, that is absorbing the acid. So it's a safe battery to have in your truck because it's not gonna leak on you. You can turn these batteries sideways and install them, which you don't wanna do, of course, but in some campers and stuff, they do that. And uh, it won't hurt the battery because there's, there's no fluid to move around in there. It's just absorbed glass mat is what it's called. But let me just demonstrate the weight difference here. And you'll see what I'm talking about as far as quality. Okay, so first we're going to do the Mopar. And there you have 41.6 pounds. Okay, now let's do the AGM. Reset my scale. You can see it's still showing the 41.6 from the previous battery. Now we'll put the AGM up there. You can already hear the old man straining. Okay, so there you have 52 pounds. So you've got, what, um, almost 10 pounds difference. Actually, 42 versus, yeah, 10 pounds, we'll call it. So you can see that there's a lot more lead in this battery, which batteries are comprised of pretty much all lead. And actually, the other one, the Mopar, has more fluid in it, so that may account for some of the weight versus this Duracell that does not have as much fluid, I would think because of the glass mat. But we won't count on that. There's 10 pounds difference in lead. And I think that speaks to the quality of the two batteries. Not saying that the Duracell is the best battery in the world, but I would go out on a limb and say that it's a lot better than that original Mopar. Thanks for watching my video, and until next time, adios.